Hi guys, my name is Lexi. I'm the Discovery on Wheels educator at Discovery Children's Museum here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today I want to teach you guys a little bit about clouds, like the ones in the sky right behind me here. Now clouds are made out of droplets of water that are held up in the air by atmospheric winds. These winds are blowing even when we can't feel wind down here on the surface of the earth. And the wind kind of blows those water droplets up in the air to keep them in the sky as clouds. But sometimes those water droplets become a little bit too heavy for the wind to hold anymore, and when that happens, the water droplets will fall to the ground as rain, or if it's cold enough, snow. Now I want to show you guys a little experiment that shows you how we can recreate that rain in our own homes. So for this experiment, all you'll need is a clear container filled about halfway with some water, some shaving cream, and some food coloring. To start, you're going to want to take the shaving cream and spray it on top of your water here. And if your shaving cream isn't quite as fluffy as mine, if it's more of a gel, you can fix that by putting it in a bowl and whisking it for just a couple of seconds. That'll make it nice and fluffy like this. Now I'm going to push this a little closer to you guys so you guys can see, but our shaving cream here is going to represent those atmospheric winds that keep the clouds up in the sky. Now we'll take some food coloring and slowly start to drop it on top of our shaving cream. Now, at first, nothing is really happening. Our shaving cream is keeping that food coloring out of the water. So this is kind of like when the atmospheric winds are keeping those droplets up in the sky making clouds. But once we add enough droplets and it starts to get a little heavier, we should start seeing something pretty cool happening in our jar. Got some pretty strong atmospheric winds here. There we go. So once it gets heavy enough, that food coloring starts to break through our shaving cream here, falling down into our water as some rain. Now, in real life, gravity would be pushing these droplets down to the earth, making that rain in real life. Now, for this experiment, you don't have to be limited to just using blue food coloring. If you'd like, you can use all the colors to try and make your own rain rainbow and turn this into kind of an art experiment, too. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning a little bit about how weather works, and I hope to see all of you guys again soon. Take care.